Accurate communication about products ordered, shipped and received throughout the healthcare supply chain is essential. Especially in a hospital or pharmacy where communication errors could mean the product needed for treatment is not available at a critical time, potentially risking quality of patient care and outcomes. To ensure efficiency and accuracy in the delivery from the manufacturer to the patient, all the parties involved need to exchange certain business information. This is enabled by the GS1 system of standards. The supply of products involves three basic steps. Ordering products, delivery of ordered products, and payment for products delivered. This process is often called order to cash. Three main actors are involved here. Buyer, a party purchasing products. In the healthcare supply chain, it's often a healthcare provider such as a hospital or retail pharmacy. Seller, usually a manufacturer or distributor supplying products to the buyer. And carrier, delivering products. They need to exchange business information supporting the trading process. Buyer sends an order to the seller. Seller informs the buyer about the product sent. Seller sends an invoice to the buyer. The carrier needs to know where to deliver which packages. In case of healthcare products, it's also crucial that they're correctly identified, often to batch, expiry date, or even serial number level. This information can be sent in any way, for example by email, but it's best to exchange it as standard EDI messages, directly between computer applications of the actors involved. Using EDI allows automation, increase of speed, and elimination of errors. The main messages in order to cash are order, dispatch advice, and invoice. Further benefits are offered by response messages like order response, receiving advice, and remittance advice. The process starts by generating an order. The buyer records the stock level based on two sources. Sales, usage or dispense report. Data collected during barcode scanning at the hospital or retail pharmacy. Stock level. Recorded by scanning the barcode on the products coming into and leaving the warehouse. When the stock level drops below a certain value, the system generates an EDI order and sends it to the supplier. The order is received by the supplier's enterprise management system. Based on stock level and manufacturing plan, the system generates the order response to inform the buyer if the order is accepted. Now products can be prepared for dispatch. The picking lists, helping to find the products in the warehouse, are generated automatically. The pickers can scan the barcodes on the boxes or pallets while picking them up from the shelves. If the packages need to be broken down, new shipping units with new barcode labels are prepared. The shipping units are deposed at the dispatching gate. While they're loaded on the truck, the warehouse operator scans barcodes on the pallets and cases. When loading is completed, the system generates a dispatch advice and sends it to the receiver of the delivery. It also generates transport instructions for the carrier. The dispatch advice provides details of the shipping units, but it's sent from the seller to the buyer and the carrier can't see it. If additional information is needed on the transport item, it's included in the GS1 logistic label and barcoded to be scanned by the carrier. The buyer receives the dispatch advice before the delivery arrives and prepares to receive it. If necessary, reserves the time slot for the truck at the delivery dock, allocates the warehouse locations to store delivered products, records traceability data. When the truck arrives, the receiver scans all the barcodes. The IT system compares the products received to the dispatch advice and reconciles them with the order and detects any errors. Products that have not been ordered and not correctly identified or have been damaged in transport are recorded as rejected. The system generates a receiving advice, including any rejected items, and sends it to the seller. Now the seller generates an invoice and sends it to the buyer. The invoice can be based on data from the order, dispatch advice or receiving advice, depending on the business scenario. The receiving advice gives the best guarantee of avoiding commercial disputes. The buyer places the products at the warehouse and barcodes are scanned when the products are moved to the point of sale or care. Based on these data, the buyer system generates an order and sends it to the seller.
To ensure reliability of exchanged information and eliminate any potential delivery mistakes, it's crucial that the messages used are standardized, which means that all the supply chain actors have the same understanding of business processes, message components, and can use them in an identical way. To ensure this uniformity, GS1 harmonized various local EDI implementation practices and published guidelines that provide one way of using them in the healthcare sector, called the GS1 Healthcare Harmonized EDI Guidelines. Use of the GS1 standards and the GS1 Healthcare Harmonized EDI Guidelines in the order to cash scenario brings a lot of benefits. Increased accuracy of delivery, resulting in increased patient safety. Traceability of products. Automatic order, delivery and invoice matching. Increased price awareness and economic control of purchasing. Improved statistics and monitoring. Reduction of errors and commercial disputes. Improved basis for new items procured. To get more information and help in implementation, please contact your local GS1 member organization.